two C++ applications I have written to process RSS feeds from the Internet. The command line program, News C, the C stands for command line, reads a text file containing website addresses and downloads the content into separate text files, one for each web address. It keeps track of the text files by name, so each web address has a human readable name associated with it. The text files are tab delimited. So in one one column exists the feed name, another column exists the headline, and in another column exists the web address for the article. The GUI program evolved over time and used different API to include FLTK, GTKMM, which is the C++ wrapper for GTK, and most recently WX widgets. Buttons for each RSS feed exists along the bottom. Headlines are listed from the top. When you click on a headline, a summary of the headline appears. The View Article button opens a link to the default web browser in my case Mozilla Firefox. I am offline so no content appears but that is a full web URL. If I was online you would see a web page with the full contents of the article. Activating several links in Mozilla Firefox means I can bookmark the articles for later. Organizing the bookmarks into a folder means I can use the Open All Tabs function of Firefox. I can then retrieve each news article, then disconnect from the web, and read the articles offline for as long as the web browser is open. A new application will replace this one, and the buttons below will be generated as tabs at the top instead of individual buttons at the bottom. The listing of headlines, however, will remain the same. The productive use of Firefox in the way described will remain, but the way the RSS information is presented will be adjusted for greater utility and ease of access. GTK provides a useful write-up on their tab interface in the GTK documentation. The plan is to use the GTK a tab implementation to do the same thing as those buttons down below. And one of the things that's driving this is to automate the generation of the buttons to simplify how that works and at the same time inherit many of the enhancements that exist with regards to the GTK uh, tab implementation. So it helps to take a quick look at the GTK documentation. GTK calls the tab visual output a notebook. I suppose that is similar to the Trapper Keeper, once revered by students and the studious everywhere. The goal is to approximate the layout of the application just viewed so that it runs with less C++ code than before. WX Widgets is quite efficient and it was easy to express code in WX Widgets after going through the documentation for it. However, I think there are more opportunities for code expression 
in GTK proper. And so although GTK MM and WX widgets do a good job wrapping and abstracting GTK, sometimes it's best to go directly to the source.